so. <laughs> <laughs> transmissions waiting on the master builder Dennis so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set out everything on this four speed when he gets in here we'll continue putting it back together Probably in that bay, if you do cut them open, put them in the tray or something so they don't roll everywhere. All this garbage. Don't put that up there. Right? That, I gotta replace that shit. That shit got wore out on that tranny. That goes behind a bearing race. It's, that's how bad the bearing race is. They're beating the shit out of it. It's a Sonoma, a little GMT Sonoma shop truck. Four bearing, right? Yeah. That's what I used to have. This thing's a lot. They run for. Well, they want 2800 bucks for a rebuild train. We go to the 1300 bucks to rebuild it. And it parts would be an UPS this morning. Thick washers? Yeah, they're about the size of a half dollar. These are thick. Yeah, we, there's, but you gotta stand them up. All the way around. Yeah, all the way around. I see what you're saying, the magnet. Well, if you got use the smaller green one, uh -huh. that way when you go in, you can just slide the magnet sideways so they pull it back out. Yeah, that's what I need. I don't want you to break your fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> You got your ma your money up now? For yeah. what? I don't know. Talking no, about No, I um, It's all middle mid row. <laughs> I got that kid Brendan we saw earlier. He's coming to help put the front, the hood, the front bumper on my Hyundai so I can sell that before Christmas. Hey, yeah, that's what three year in. Three there, yeah. And I got two of the trains I need to knock out. I'm gonna try to get Larry's done within the next few days. I got, I was doing pretty good in Lila's little car. What you do is you start the rollers and put them about eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch down in the hole and stack them. Cause what you gotta do is you gotta put a washer and then you gotta slide it with the pipe then you gotta put a second set of bearings. Oh shit. You know All what I mean? And there. then you gotta flip it around, put the tube in the middle, then you gotta do the same thing on the other side. Gosh, yeah. There's four rows of bearings like what you Ooh. just did. I better, just, just, I better loop way down in there then. Well, not, it, they'll stay, yeah, you can grease it down there good, but once they'll stay, you gotta build it at the top and then we're gonna slide it down as you build it, you'll yeah. see. Make sure you got enough grease in there. Yeah. These are all the same. Yeah, they're going to be all the same. Okay. So just uh, stack start, them in there. Yeah, glue them make all the way around. And yep. Just right here, right at the close yeah, to the well, top. Well, you could do them at the top because the way they're going to get pushed down, you'll see those things. This is actually the worst part of this one. Scan rink out here. 
they had one uh, going out toward Yop Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they closed it. But no, it's actually still open. Yeah, Roller we, skating ring and bowling alleys, man. I enjoy both of them. Yeah. I enjoy bowling, man. Even though bowling, we don't want to go there after couple midnight. Couple games only. Get there and go to get drunk. Hell yeah, do a picture. Last time I went bowling, I went to go bowling, but I swung my arm back, the bowling ball let go, and then ended up in the men's room. <laughs> I got thrown out. <laughs> we, were a little, we were a little under the weather, but yeah, I'm, I'm sitting there and, and I just went like this and next thing that went, yeah. katunk, 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 and it laid that up in the men's room. Yeah. They still got that nice bowling alley in Wilmington, man. We used to go there all the time, break time. Mac Daddy's ain't bad. Mac Daddy's all right. Yeah. But it's expensive. Yeah. Right? That's the one thing I don't like about that place. And starter food's good, something. If they're quick to change, if we got to change them. Right. Where the this numbers? goes like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the forks are going to go. Alright, lay it down with the numbers towards us. Okay. Put them in with the forks upward. Where, where's the fork? They're offset. Uh, these are fork. different. These are different. Yeah. One's going to be inside, one's outside. Mm -hmm. right. So put say, them upward. So put them out. like this. Yeah, they do. They say uh, PJK or yeah, nothing. No, go ahead. We can go ahead and put them in. We can change it later. It's just a matter. The weird part. There's no scissors on these. Look, oh, there's this one too, though. That's reverse. Okay. That one. That's totally by itself. All right. Yeah. Just go ahead and slide them. Now you see where the knuckles are. Mm -hmm. That's where the check. Oh, holes. they were on the okay. balls. The so one lube it up. You want to put the plate. Yeah. Put the plate up here so we can protrude it. Yeah, just no, that's good. I'll take it out. Lube it up? You can put one in and then we'll push this over when we do the other. Yeah, lube them up so they don't. We might have to switch them around. We'll learn that. Dang, this thing's wore out. Did we already try to bust this off? What? This this uh, snap ring? No. Holy here, here, crap, it's wore out. You can out. use them, I think. Well, it takes you beating. I figure out how many years of beating them. See how this thing is jacked. Look at that. Oh, thing. yeah. It's all flawed out. When it gets hammered on, you can leave it in here until we back up. Uh, slide the gear and the bearing off. Slide the gear and the bearing off. Bam. There right here. There's right. no bearing in it, is there? No. It runs right on the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, keep that in order as it comes out. All right. Yeah. Next piece. Or is that where it splits? That's the, that's the machine part of shaft. Okay. Now we're gonna, uh, what you call it? Well, actually, we didn't have to take that apart, but that's all right. It needed that new snap. We could put, yeah, uh, we could turn it around. We're gonna pull the other side apart now. Pull it up in that hole. It should, it should stay pretty good. All right, snap ring. Uh, pay attention to the grooves in the bearing. The groove yeah. goes oh. to the back of the unit. Uh, Gotta keep an eye on it. Nope. Okay. Here we go. That that should have stayed in the case for some reason. Can you work it out? You want me to try to pop this bearing off? Uh, we're going to use a bearing splitter. You mean pop? No, this ain't coming off. It should. Because well, oh, yeah. that's supposed to stay in the housing. I see. How that ended up over there, I don't know. You can turn the shafts out with me. Or use the, the pliers. Yeah, you're recording that shit just for the sake of memory. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> yeah, don't know. Let's go. Re let's go redo the tape. And this is old school stuff. I can't imagine like the new crap. <laughs> no, but back, yeah, we're building the back of the shit. Okay. There's another snap ring in there. Yeah. Okay. So. Damn. That one put behind the bear and near the bearing. We don't want to mix them all up. I put it under. No, right there, that's fine. Okay. Wait, now that ought to slide up 
easy. Without the whole pulling these the apart. and everything, yeah. Or is the hub stuck on there? It's gotta be a burr with a snap ring. Be careful with oh. that, that collar. There, we there you go. Yeah, it's just a little snag. All right, put that on the side of the shaft. Side of shaft right yeah. here. Now the sink, that call that a synchronizer assembly. All right. I'll explain to you what they are. I don't know if you want to get the video moved or Yeah, no, that's right. That's OK, right. cool. This is a slide ring. Uh -huh. The little keys are dogs, and those yeah. are dog retainers. Mm -hmm. The inner one is the engagement hub. So go ahead and just pick that up. It, it'll be a whole synchronizer assembly. Pick it, pick it up. Just like okay. that, yeah. Put it aside. There's your blocker. Look at that one. Look how hot that one got. Yep, 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 yep. All right. See how, see the gap? Yep. Okay. Go ahead and pry that off there. It should just come right off. They're not supposed to be on there tight. Yep. Okay. Did it. Is that rust on there? Yeah. No, it's like grease. All right, go ahead and wipe that clean. Dirty, dirty, rusty grease. Yeah, you don't want no contamination if you can help it. Okay, now you saw the gap you had with the uh, synchronizer. Get a new synchronizer. They're all, they're all the same, so we're good. You should have a nice gap. Oh, yeah, that's a real nice gap. Yeah. Okay. All right, now you could. You uh, might want to wipe this a little bit if there's any kind of like, old grease. He's like the best rag I've ever made. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I don't know. I can't go back to nothing else. Not even old t-shirts. Did you buy them new? Or yeah. you buy, oh, you do. And the big pack. The big pack. Yeah. yeah. I've oh. got like three or four bundles at home. You do? Brand new. Yeah. I used the... Uh, then I'll throw them in for second round. Uh, okay. And this one here, let's get the blue grease. It, it, let it lean over. That's fine. Uh, it's only because it's top heavy. Or you're not used to dealing with a long shaft, I guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead and grease the, the bottom two lanes here and, and right here. Just put just the skin coat so we don't run it dry. Huh? All right, now we're going to put back the gear. Put this back. Yep. What about this? Oh, no, that you is can the leave new it all there. Yep. That is the you can take one. it off if you want to, but we're going to slide that right back on. There. Now when you put your synchronizer back on, just like you got it, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. You see where the three dogs are? Yeah. Those dogs got to fit in these grooves. Uh, so when you drop it down, you might have to rotate this to line them up. You know I what I mean? Okay. And like I said, the groove for the fork is forward. So just like that. Yeah. When you get close, kind of get an idea where the dogs are versus it. Are they the same size on the dogs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's that's fine. Oh yeah, yeah. When I you come down, you, you can rotate this back and forth and line up with the dog. That's right. It's going to keep sliding off. That's why sometimes you fight those rings. But if you look in the opening, you'll see there's a sharper side and a, a narrow side. They're tapered. Tapered. The sharp point always goes away from your circles. Sharp point always goes away. Yeah. I don't see. I still don't understand what you're saying. Do they look exactly the same? This side is a little pointier than that side. Um, so, that, so it goes down like that. Because what it is, it's so the pliers grab it. Okay. And on this one here, you try not to expand the ring any more than you need it. Gotcha. On this one here, if you're right handed strong, put the opening here, you just open it and walk it down. Like That's it. how I do. Can I use the other one? You can use the other one, you get one right. Taking them off is one thing, but putting them in as long as they're, but try not to expand the ring no more than you need. Get it to the splines and then just open it. That way it keeps the strength of it good. Yeah, it goes all the way down. Yep, over this. all the way down. Over that you can grab, thing. You can grab a little, because your pliers, you're kind of grabbing high. Get to attach with the pliers lower. In other words, Grab it with the bottom of the plier. What if I spin them like that? Yeah, that's fine. But you don't want to go too low because the pliers are going to bottom up. Just get it started on there and... Right. Almost there. Push down with your pliers too. 
And we'll let you slip right then make sure it's locked in. Let's give it a little tappity. Yeah. Bam. Make sure it's locked in all the way around. Yeah. That's what keeps it from rotating. It'll fall right into place. Perfect. All right. Now you put your bearing aside, you gotta put the gear back in. Just put the bearing there. No, they take so that clip take out of there. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright, now if there's a dog, you gotta take your one off. Is that usually what goes bad? Like if these things are popping out of gear? Well, what it is is if they don't stop the gear, that's what. Mm -hmm. Now the thrust washer, grab one. I'll show you what it does. On the other side, see these locks? Mm -hmm. They gotta go into grooves in there. Yeah, so you should use help. the green grease and glue it downward. Real good. Yeah, we're gonna have to line them up after, but do the same thing up here. But we can put that washer afterwards. Okay, so now we've got a, the counter shaft. Counter shaft. Yeah, and uh, I think you said with the big gear. Yeah, the big gear goes in. This forward. one? No, no this no, one? Yeah, you gotta, gonna have to lower it in. Be careful with the bearings. Mm -hmm. You gotta lower it in and sit it on top of that thrust washer there. That's gonna go in the thrust washer. Yeah. Try not to bounce around in the bearings or in there. Lay it and slowly. You should have enough room to sit on top because mm -hmm. it ain't, you don't have the top thrust washer in. Yep. All right. Okay, now take your other thrust washer and slide it in where you can line it up from this side. You're sitting on top of it. Okay, you're doing good. Okay. Paper on the floor. How's it look? I think you're through the washer now. No, he's, no, he's just, you're just touching it. Touching the washer? Yeah, pick up on the shaft a little bit. On the inside of the counter. There you go. Got it. Is that where it's called? Is it through? Is it, is it through? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, let's see. Don't All right, right, well, I gotta turn the shaft because now you gotta match this moon key up. I'm gonna turn it back, flip this back. This moon key right here. Okay, yeah. that should make it. That should make it. Shall I turn it? Are you here? Still tight. Yeah. Alright, lunch time. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> you, you, do, you don't do KFC. Do you? Little, let's make sure there's no metal sticking. What's that? You do KFC or you go to Subway or? No, I'm gonna go to that sandwich place. Oh. Because this got to be, this is, no, this recesses, right? You could tap it in a little more. It's just got to be flush. Just want to make sure there wasn't no metal shavings. Yeah. It ain't gonna stick nothing out coming out of there. No, it did good. I can tap it down, you're saying, a little more? Yeah, just so long as below that surface. It's a tapered fit. You're not gonna punch it through. <laughs> that was uh, uh, you, you ain't used to dealing with something yeah, that long. I can't. <laughs> that long. Yeah, it's, uh, I have no leverage. <laughs> I know I feel all the time. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's put some on the bearing. You ready? So this has got to squeeze out. Well, it ain't right. going to go out. No, it's going to open up in there. Yeah, it's going to open in here. You're going to need either the pliers or anyone. The more you got to open it up, see it'll clear the bearing the groove. Hell no. It's not in the groove. Make sure it's in the groove. That should be bouncing free in here. Is 
come and take her in the old one or something? Looks thicker, don't it? Locked in on your side, roll it where it's okay. facing up. Right. 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 Give in the bigger. I don't know what there, happened. It was like it hard, hard and then all of a sudden it just went. Yeah, it sometimes. You guys ain't holding it. Just going straight in. That's I'm going to pilot right. this onto there. Yeah. Slide it forward. You might have to lift a little bit. Sort of turn separate. See if you could turn this separate. Hey, so how are we doing today? Anyway, I just wanted to give you a little interview on the end of that transmission build. It kind of ended a little abruptly because, believe it or not, we started on that transmission at nine, about nine thirty in the morning, and I didn't get done with it till almost like three, four o'clock. And you know how that goes when you're trying to film these batteries and I didn't bring no charger. I had two batteries and burned those batteries up. So we almost got to the end of it. The only part you missed was Dennison was showing me how to shift the thing and just checking for the gears and stuff like that, making sure everything worked good. Anyway, yeah, that's my buddy. That he's a, That's my buddy Dennis. And, you know, I'm so blessed to have a friend like him because, one, he takes the time. One, he's a master transmission guy he's been doing it for 30 years but two he's like i feel like he's the the master uh well he is the master transmission guy i'm the apprentice and uh, he just you know he's real easy to work with he takes the time to show you and explain stuff and he's super smart with mopar he's been in my corner for three four years now he's the one who's helped me build the beep beep you guys seen him in some of my videos in the background but anyway he's awesome but he were uh, Amico Transmissions over in Jacksonville. So whenever you guys see me on Facebook or doing transmissions, I'm always kind of with him. And I'm just trying to learn. You know, I'm trying to take over 
the old school transmission builds. I want to be able to build them myself, which I've done a few of them now. I'm not saying I'm like the master by any means, but I could pretty much get them apart now and know which clips go where. And if I lay everything out, I could probably put pretty much put them together and all that stuff. So I'm getting there. So anyway, that's my buddy Dennis. Awesome dude. My name's Brad. You guys know me. Poor Boy's Garage. We got the transmission back. Safe and sound. We're going to put the uh, shifter on it. I still got the body work I'm doing on the 67 Coronet. I'm working on it slowly. And um, I'll have a video out for you guys soon on, on some of the progress there. I was trying to do other cars and then kind of go back to the Coronet. But it seems like it's Coronet, Coronet, Coronet. Part 1, Part 2, Part 3. That's not really how I wanted to do it. But... I wanted to keep you guys posted, let you guys know that I am still invested in that car. And, uh, you know, we got another step done. Got this bad boy four speed, so it's going to be it's gonna be a riot, man. I can't wait to get that one done. Anyway, poor boy's garage, you know me. Let them rip, not rot. Keep on saving them, all that good stuff. Don't send them to the crusher. You know why? Because we hate that. I don't know. You do too. Until next time, we are out. Later.